what is up you guys it's Kate here and today I'm gonna make a video about a couple of my favorite books uh, well, probably most of you know, don't know that I am a major bookworm I am always reading and if I'm not I'm going out of my mind trying to search for a book to read uh, so today I thought I'd take this time not this time so today I thought that I would um, share to you a couple of my favorite books because uh, you know why not and maybe you've either read them or you haven't and you want to read them um, so let's go so the first book I got um, is All the Right Places by Jennifer Niven um, I love this book honestly um, I don't think I've ever been so emotional towards one book before. I mean, obviously, I get emotional with all my books, either if I love them or hate them, or I just want to strangle everyone. Um, but I just find that if I start talking about this book too much, I get really upset and I just want to hug everyone and just want to cry. Oh my god. See, so now that the phone has stopped ringing. Um, so if you don't know what this book is about, it is about uh, two characters, Finch and Violet, um, who have a very hard life, I guess. I mean, it's not hard. Um, they have problems, major problems, like most everyone. Um, I mean, I guess you could just read this. So it says here, Theodora Finch is fascinated by death. Every day he thinks of a way he might die, but every day he also searches for and manages to find something to keep him here and alive and awake. Uh, so yeah, let's Finch and Violet. Violet Marquis lives for the future, counting the days until graduation, when she can escape her small Indiana town and her aching grief in the wake of her sister's death. So basically, it's just them kind of overcoming their um, problems together and finding friendship, maybe something more. I don't know. I'm not good at explaining this, Finch especially, but uh, definitely give it a read. It's probably yeah, it's one of my all-time favorite books. Read it. Okay, so for the next book, I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm on the second book. Um, it's called Ice Like Fire, but the original book is Snow Like Ashes. It's an interesting book. It's about kingdoms and, um, what is it called? It's about kingdoms and taking over the world basically um but it has like a really cool twist on it uh in my opinion it's all about seasons and other kingdoms that will come in later they're called the rhythms um but anyway uh the main character her name is mira um she and her fellow winterians which is really cool because we're all from winter this is a kingdom that's all around winter and spring. Again, it's a kingdom all that only lives in spring. Took over winter and basically took all the winterians and then put them in camps and now they're spring slaves. It's kind of like a holocaust feel to it in my opinion because, I don't know, it's just like this one kingdom took over another kingdom and then put them in these kind of camps, work camps, and other slaves, and now Mira and her small group of escapees need to find uh, this thing called um, the Conduit, which basically holds the kingdom together, but when spring attacked um, all those years ago, uh, Ingra, the, the king of spring, broke it and now they're on a quest to find it. And it's just really good. Uh, this is the second book. 
I'm not gonna give much about it because like I said I'm like halfway through it right now um but the first is really good so I'd give it a try and the third is coming out soon and I'm really excited about All right, and for my last book, or should I say two books, it's complicated, you'll get it in a couple minutes. So this series takes a lot of time, because it's a continue, continuing series, it's still going on now, I mean, it's, there's parts of it still going on now, it's really confusing, I'll explain in a minute. Um, but that is The Mortal Instruments. Um, and honestly, if you've seen the movie or seen the show Shadowhunters, please do not base it off of that because it is. There are a lot of differences and complicated things, and it's just everywhere with those. I don't. Uh, so, uh, the Mortal Instruments is about a girl named Clary, um, who uh, has been a mortal, mortal all her life. But her mother has been keeping a secret from her. She is a shadow hunter. And a shadow hunter is uh, basically like an angel but that has mortal blood. Um, and they help fight off demons and monsters from other realms who try to come and, you know, destroy the world. Um, so Clary gets pulled into this world um, one day when. Uh, she starts when she goes to a club basically she goes to a club with her best friend Simon um, Yeah, so she pulls in this world she meets other shadow hunters um, Who soon become her like best friends at first and not at first, but yeah um, so Yeah, I don't know. It's just really good. Like I said, I suck at explaining things. I mean it's just really good. I'm so invested in this series. Um, the series, like the Mortal Instruments has six books in itself, but um, to me, I read it a certain way. I read one through five first, and then there's the prequel that came before it, which is about uh, Jace's ancestor and other people, and Tessa, and if you read it, you'll find out about it. Uh, and, yeah, so, like, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry, I suck at explaining things. Um, so, yeah, what I did is that I read 1 through 5, so I read The City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and City of Lost Souls. I stopped before I read the last book, and I read the Clockwork series, what is it, the, um, So uh, after I stopped with five, I read the Infernal Devices, which is a trilogy, three, and then I read the last book, and in my opinion, if you do decide to read the series, um, I would read it the way I did because the last book, there is parts of it that relate to the Infernal Devices, and I just got really happy when I saw those pieces, and it just... I don't know. I enjoy it. I hope you will too, because it's an excellent series. Majorly agree. Favorite series ever. Alright, so that brings me to my next book, uh, which is Lady Midnight, which is part of the Dark Artifices series. Um, this is also by Cassandra Flair, the same person that wrote uh, The Modal Instruments. And, um, this book basically takes place after, um, all the stuff that happens in the Mortal Instruments, so it's a sequel to it. I know it's a lot of books, um, but basically it's about Emma Carstairs and, uh, her trying to figure out, uh, who murdered her parents, which took place during the Mortal Instruments, but... You do not have to read the Mortal Instruments to um, understand what happened to her parents. It explains here um, there will be maybe some confusion about who uh, a character is every now and then, but 
it will explain it. Um, so Emma uh, takes her friend and her pair of a tie, and a pair of a tie is basically your best friend and uh, companion throughout everything, um, and has this special attachment to you, which is performed in a ritual, I guess you could say. Um, it, it'll explain in the book, it'll make more sense than I would saying it. <laughs> um, but she takes Julian, uh, Julian Blackthorn, um, her pair of a tie, into this whole mess with her, along with his, uh, five other siblings. I'm just gonna say five. He has six, but it's five. It's complicated, it'll explain in the book. Um, so, yeah, so there are a lot of twists and turns in this book, as most books do. Um, and the, there are a lot of surprising events, and I don't know, I just really love this book, and the whole Shadowhunter series, and uh, if you've seen the City of Bones movie, or if you've ever seen the show Shadowhunters, do not base the series off of those. Uh, those are nothing like the books. Uh, there are similarities, of course, but uh, it's nothing like the books. The books are so much better, in my opinion. I don't know. Other people might think not, but to me, yes. Um, so that's all that I have for today. I feel like I will do this every couple months after I read um, a couple new books and I find new books that I want to read. Like, I have a new book coming in soon. I'm not sure when. It's been a couple weeks. It's called Everything, Everything. And I'm really excited to read it. I had a friend recommend it to me. Um, so that is all for this video. Thank you all for watching so much. Hopefully you liked this video and if you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, it's just down there. Just go and click the button, just do it, just do it, this. Um, also, if you have any suggestions of videos that you want me to do, leave a comment down below. I will go through them, and I will see what I want to do. And obviously, I want to know what you guys want to see me to do, so that we can work on a thing together. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!